and we are in the data room. It's about a uh, eight foot by 12 foot room. These are the T1s and or fiber handoffs that come from the ISP. Uh, some of these boxes are not in use anymore. Um, we've got some legacy uh, wiring infrastructure there, even though most of their phones are uh, voice over IP. And we've got a PA system. That unit right there is the Spectralink controller. So they do use Spectralinks at, these lo at this location. We've also got an Avaya uh, paging, uh, paging access module. And then turn it around to the racks. This first rack right here is all just servers. So nothing, nothing to see there that we're concerned about. Over here is their switching infrastructure. So we've got patch panels up here at the top. And then begins our switching infrastructure. And the switching infrastructure is comprised of three uh, 3560 uh, 48-port PoE. So we've got one, and then we've got two, three. And that's what they use for access for uh, workstations. Now they've also got a small 24-port uh, 3560G, uh, but the IT manager told me that's used primarily just for servers or infrastructure devices. And then below that is the um, Sienna 30, 3916, which is the fiber uh, handoff from the ISP. The ISP is Comporium. And then below that is their Barracuda uh, web filter. It's called a web filter 310. Now they've also got an old uh, Cisco uh, ASA 5505 firewall. So we have both a web filter and a firewall. Also it's important to note that the IT manager says that they're doing their, their routing, their layer 3 routing um, through the switching fabric rather than the router. So the router, the, if you want to call it this 3916, is the handoff from the ISP um, which probably handles the NAT, but then after that it goes to the switch and the switch does the routing work. Here in the middle is the Avaya uh, G450 uh, G uh, voice over IP phone system and uh, we do have some Amphenol tails coming off of it so we probably have some um, analog devices we need to take a look at uh, but otherwise most of the desk sets at this location are um, our voice over IP. Now here's something I did not get a chance to ask him about and that is this Sprint router. It's a 2800 series and this is obviously some kind of a handoff so I'm going to ask him about that. And then way down here at the bottom we have uh, a smart UPS 1000. Looks like we've got one, two, three of those and another UPS and then a couple of tri uh, trip light uh, PDUs. Okay, so that is the data room.